Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV. Today I'm going to talk to you about the 2017 Sonic 220 VRB. Let's go ahead and start off right up here on the front. You'll notice you're going to have a power tongue jack, that way it's nice and easy to connect and disconnect your tow vehicle. Just flip of a switch and you are good to go. Uh, also on here is going to be a little light, which is going to help you at nighttime as well as a level. Right behind that is going to be our propane tank cover. This is just going to have some thumb screws, undo those, lift it up. You'll see that that's going to give us access to our 220 pound propane tanks. Behind that is going to be the tray for the battery. And then right here is your diamond plating. This is going to help prevent any kind of scratches from rocks and things that get uh, thrown up by the tow vehicle. That way it hits this diamond plating and doesn't scratch the beautiful fiberglass. Speaking of the fiberglass on here, one of the things I really like about the Sonic when it comes to construction, this is one piece fiberglass from the front all the way up along the roof and down the back side. Big advantages to that, you're going to have less seams going across, water's naturally going to want to run front to back so it's not going to come down on your campsite and less chance for any kind of water. Water intrusion. This is going to be your pass through storage, uh, slam latch baggage doors on there as well as uh, magnets instead of having any kind of clips, so a lot more convenient. Large pass through storage in there as well. Go ahead and shut that. Power awning. You can see the power awning is going to uh, you know, be exactly where you want it. Perfect place to go ahead and set up your chairs. Great thing about a power awning, it doesn't require two people. Just one person touches a button that rolls out. Same thing to bring it back in. Also, there will be an LED light in the barrel of this awning. So when it is all the way out, that will go ahead and shine down on your campsite so you don't have to put up any Christmas lights. Getting into the 220s, an absolute breeze. You have two steps here as well as your lit grab handle right here. Here. So we come back a little bit further, you'll notice electrical outlets, so if you do need uh, anything to plug in out here you can certainly do that, as well as satellite right here. So if you want an outside TV, this will be underneath the awning, you can go ahead and plug the TV in here and get your satellite access. Underneath the power awning you'll see two outside speakers. Those are going to be controlled by our multimedia center inside, however they are Bluetooth capable. So if you have a smartphone or other cellular device that is, uh, you have the Bluetooth connectivity, you can go ahead and connect to that wirelessly and run any kind of streaming music. Right in the back is the outside kitchen, again magnets on there so it uh, sits right up there nice and easily. Your fridge for any condiments or beverages and then the outside kitchen pulls out just like this. A plumbed sink on here as well as your two burner cooktop. Now that is going to connect to your gas connection which is going to be right down here. So if you don't want to use the cooktop, maybe you have a, a gas grill, you can always set up your grill out here too and go ahead and connect to that same gas connection. So it's nice having that quick connect right there. So you come around to the back side, again you can see the one piece fiberglass in the roof coming down. Uh, this one is going to be pre-wired for a backup camera. So if you do want a backup camera, it's nice and easy to go ahead and install there bumper and then a spare tire. So uh, this is great because that way you know if uh, hopefully you never have to have any issues but if you do at least you're going to be covered. Of course your sewer hose will go in the bumper. Uh, outside shower that will have hot and cold access right there and then this is going to be your black tank flush. This is nice and convenient instead of bringing a hose in putting it down the toilet you can just hook your hose up right here and that will go ahead and wash out your black tank. Then on the other side, right over here, I do just want to show you, you do have a detachable power cord as well as a nice big slide. All right, that's going to wrap it up for the outside. Let's go take a look at the inside. Welcome to the inside of the 2017 Sonic 220 VRB. This particular model is going to be in the black diamond interior. Let's start off in the cabinetry right here. I like what Sonic has done. Uh, this is what they call a tech box. You can go ahead and open this up. You'll see you have some standard plugs in here uh, and you're also going to get two USB ports. The purpose of this is any kind of cell phones or cellular devices you can go ahead and set right up there, plug in, and that's going to help uh, declutter your countertops. Speaking of countertops, you do have nice size countertop here, some good prep space, and that's going to be aided by both your sink top cover as well as your cooktop cover. I'll go ahead and take that off. You'll notice you have double bowl sink, larger bowl on the left, smaller bowl on the right, which is exactly what you want for washing and rinsing dishes, as well as the high-rise stainless steel faucet. Um, back up top here real quick, 
Nice big pantry there, you can see right here. Uh, there, there's the weight of the unit. Uh, it's gonna have a hitch weight of 500 pounds. The overall weight's 4,410 pounds, so under that 4,500 pound mark, making the coach nice and lightweight. Convection microwave oven. This is awesome. A couple reasons. One, it's not going to put out the heat that your standard uh, oven does. It's going to be easier to clean. Because you have the oven and microwave in one, it's going to be a space savings, giving you extra storage, and it cooks faster than your standard oven. So I love having the convection microwave here. Underneath that is your uh, hood. This is going to have a light and a fan on there. And then right here is the two, the two burner cooktop. As I mentioned, it does have a glass top giving you that prep surface. Go ahead and lift that up and you'll notice the two burners. And then uh, also this kind of acts as a backsplash. The glass, of course, is going to be nice and easy to clean off. One other thing I do want to mention, the backsplash here in the Sonic, this is not just standard wallpaper. This is actually a panel that they have made. So this is nice and easy to uh, wash and wipe away. You're not going to have to worry about it tearing apart like it would in a standard wallpaper that a lot of the manufacturers use. Now, because we get good countertop space, it also means we're going to get good storage underneath. You can see you have access right over there, right by the entry door. Also, right under Underneath the sink here, you have a couple of nice compartments, as well as two full extension drawers, ball bearing drawers. And then, because we don't have the oven, as I mentioned, that is all going to be storage space. So excellent storage space right there, especially in a shorter coach. Now, Nor uh, Norcold fridge freezer right here. You can see you have plenty of room there for everything you're going to need. Um, this one is going to run off both propane and electric, and it's going to have automatic switchover for you. Now, right before we go in the bathroom, I do want to show you this real quick. You want to talk about extra storage. Not only do you have the storage under the cooktop above the sink, but take a look at that. Ton of pantry space right there, which is phenomenal. Now let's take a look in the bathroom where you're going to again have lots of storage in a smaller coach, a ton of room in here. I really love this rear bath. Uh, toilet of course, foot flush is going to be right here. As you'll notice you have a ton of leg room. Now right above the toilet though, take a look at this. You want to talk about huge storage, you have an excellent linen closet right here. Next to that you have a great wardrobe storage. So that way if you do want to hang up any clothes, that's phenomenal. So you can go ahead and get changed right in this bathroom. It is big enough, it allows you to do that. Uh, the shower right here is going to be a neo-angle shower. Uh, you can take a look there. I love the doors they put on here. It has like a magnetic seal. Uh, you can see you have the shelving space, your hand wand, as well as a nice big skylight up top. But I also like these doors because the way they open and close, when you open it up, all the water is going to stay right down in the shower pan. It's not going to come out all over your floor. As we move over to the sink, again, great countertop. Uh, you know, you have to love that. You have a built-in shelf here with some storage underneath, which is really nice as well. Of course, our sink here. Also, you have a, a mirrored medicine cabinet up top with storage there, as well as storage underneath the sink here. And you can see right down here, you have nice, easy access to the water heater. So I love the bathroom in this coach, just a ton of fantastic space. But, you know, sometimes it's going to be a rainy day and you're going to want to sit and be entertained, right? Not a problem. Right here is going to be the entertainment center in the 220. Um, you know, the TV will go right here, which is great. That'll be visible from both your giant u dinette we'll see in a second, as well as your couch. Uh, this is going to be the multimedia center. I touched on this briefly when we were outside, but this is going to control your speakers both inside and outside. It's a radio, a CD player, as well as a DVD player. So if you do want to watch a movie, you're good to go. Then right here, you have great additional storage. So you know whether you want to put DVDs in there, if you have an auxiliary system like a gaming console or something, maybe be able to slip it in there, but just excellent uh, extra storage there. Now take a look at this U-Dinette, huge U-Dinette here, which is phenomenal. You know, especially in a couple's coach, you have plenty of room, nice long table. A lot of times with U-Dinettes, they give you the huge seating area and a table about half this size where, you know, you can fit uh, one plate on it. Not the case here, nice big table. This will drop down into a large bed where you can easily sleep two adults. Uh, but you know what's great because if you do have guests, they can come on over, uh, plenty of room for everyone to sit and eat. Now, as I mentioned, this is the black diamond interior has a little bit lighter uh, leather on here. But one of the things I love about Sonic is they do make all their cushions in-house. So if you look, this is a nice thick back. It's also going to be a thicker density foam than most of your manufacturers use, meaning it's not gonna break down near as quickly, so you're gonna have a longer life out of all your cushions. Also, all the cushions in the Sport Trek are, are in the Sonic, I'm sorry, are going to be reversible, as you can see right here. Um, so the cool thing about that is if you want a different look, you can have a leather look. The bottoms will flip here as well. 
well. Uh, or of course, you can have your black diamond pattern. And you know, if you ever have grandkids or anything over, um, you know, or, or again, additional guests, maybe coming back from the beach, you can just use that leather side, that way it's not gonna get your fabric wet. The other nice thing about this dinette, you can see right on both sides here, you have doors, these open up, really deep storage here. Um, this one, we have another cushion, that's gonna be used to make up this bed, but huge storage here, which is great. Now as we make our way to the front of the coach, this one is going to be equipped with a Murphy bed. Now when I say that, a lot of people freak out, they think Murphy bed, oh it's so much work, you know, it's not going to be comfortable, I don't want to deal with it. Not the case in the Sonic. I'm going to show you how easy it is and I promise when you come and see for yourself, you're going to love it too. So of course the purpose of the Murphy bed, in case you don't know, is that it gives you an extra couch. All right. In a smaller coach, a lot of times you just have the dinette, this is going to give you an extra seating area, perfect for, you know, being able to view the TV and you're not going to lose any storage. People think Murphy bed, no storage. Not true. Take a look at that. Great storage underneath this jackknife sofa. So in order to make the bed nice and easy, we're just going to go just like so, like a normal jackknife sofa that lays flat. We'll undo the lock right up here up top. Literally just going to be one, two, and one, two, just like that. The bed is done. Now the comforter is right here. You, the great thing about this, you can make the bed. You can put your sheets on it, put the comforter on here, and then go ahead and fold it up, and it will stay up. Um, you know, it'll stay in there, really nice and easy. So you don't have to constantly make and unmake your bed to put it away. Also, you'll notice up top, you do have the headboard right up here. You have some LED reading lights, which is going to be phenomenal. Uh, both sides wardrobe hanging space so if you need to hang some extra clothes you know you have the space in the bathroom you also have the space up here on both sides and then up above the bed you do have some extra uh, again storage and I like that they put the self-supporting struts in here that way it makes it nice and easy to get to both sides do have a window so you let in a lot of natural light you can kind of get a cross breeze going and on this side over there is going to be TV connections so if you do want TV in the bedroom you can go ahead and have that the curtition here will come across and close it off to give you that wanted privacy. All right, folks, that's pretty much going to wrap it up. Again, this is a 2017 Sonic 220 VRB. It's a phenomenal floor plan, a really nice couples coach. You have the outside kitchen, a huge bathroom with a ton of storage, excellent galley area, big U dinette, lightweight. This is definitely one you want to come and see. If you do have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those on the video below, or you can give myself, Ian Baker, a call here at American RV, and I'll be happy to answer that way as well. Thanks for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.